In this video, we are going to look at the function description, function diagram, and differences between base and custom functions. As was described in the other videos, a function allows the timer to control the output, based on the input signals, with some predefined logic. This logic is what we call a function. For instance, the push of a button should activate the timer and power the LED for 10 minutes, and then automatically shut it off. The timer comes with various, commonly used, predefined functions. Let's take a look at function documentation to understand the function's logic. Some of the functions use triggers and some do not. Watch the video describing the trigger operation if you did not have a chance to do so. The link is in the description of this video. But for now, the trigger is just a signal used by the timer to start the function. First, Let's take a look at the function without the trigger. Function 1 is on delay. When power is applied, the timer delays the power for a preset time T1 and then supplies power to the output. You can use this function anytime you need to delay power to the load. The same function can be used with or without the trigger. With the trigger, the supply of power does not start the delay. Only when voltage is applied to the trigger wire does the timer start the delay. In some functions, the use of a trigger is mandatory. If you see the trigger is part of the diagram, then the trigger must be used. Now let's discuss how the function is loaded into the timer. The timer can store only a single function. To change the function, use the programmer to upload a new function to the timer. The function program is saved into the flash memory and retained when power is removed from the timer. All the base, predefined functions are stored in the programmer's memory and uploaded to the timer during the programming. To load the function, connect the programmer to the timer, select the function you want to load from the drop-down menu, and it will be loaded into the timer. After the function is loaded, you can go and edit the timer's configuration such as timing and trigger settings. All the base functions are described in the manual. Besides the base functions, there are also custom functions. Custom functions are requested by the customer for a specific application. We make those functions available to the public as well. You can browse the custom functions in the separate section on the website and review their functionality. To load a custom function, you first need to download the custom function file from our website and then upload it to the programmer's memory. Once it is uploaded, it will be available in the drop-down menu and can be loaded into the timer. The function file names have a specific naming convention. The function naming convention is the following. The H is a timer's hardware version, F is a function number, and V is a version of the function. The base function starts with T, and the custom is with C. The link to the custom function section is available in the description of this video. The custom functions can be requested for an additional fee. For a more detailed dive into the timer's functions, trigger use, programming, and common application, please click on the links provided in the description of this video. As always, thank you, and don't forget to subscribe to get notified of new videos and news.